Welcome back. Today we present you the second part of our AC induction motor uh, setup for EV. As you can see from last week, we installed the motor at a differential which is connected to via axle and we connected everything up. So as you can see, there's a controller, the throttle, everything's there. The, we have the um, AC induction motor controller ranging from continuous power 3 kilowatt up to 25 in DC bus 40 volt to 200 volt. The peak power is double from the continuous power. It is intended to install a feedback sensor like an encoder or resolver to send back feedback signal of the angular or speed to get a closed loop control in speed mode and talk properly. As for the, the AC motor, if you want to have the controller configured, we need to know the parameters of the motor. Mostly you can find them on a motor plate. So we need to know the weighted voltage in AC or DC. Um, for example, 72 volt DC uh, equals 51 VAC. The weighted power from the motor, the weighted speed and the weighted frequency or primary frequency. Uh, the number of motor poles, of course and uh, the encoder or resolver, which will be by us. If we can get all this information, we can configure the controller to drive the motor well. Our controller is also available, both fan-cooled and water-cooled. Above 10 kW, we recommend water cooling. The controller is a sine wave commutation process it can drive motor up to 4000 to 5000 rpm or 6000 rpm or more depend on the poles of the motor and the kv of the winding ac induction motor are not non-magnetic so it is quite rugged for heat vibration moisture impact water hard environment and so on Top speed can be 6000 RPM or more if you use a higher gear ratio. Uh, the user can get a high torque output as well to compensate with a low torque starting speed. Um, user can use a general AC induction motor from 220 or 400 volt and do the rewind by themselves for a lower voltage bus to match with our AC controller by selection of a larger diamet winding coil than its original copper winding. A proper rewinding can be a good match with our AC induction controller. Um, for verification of the rewinding of a motor. I will post the links in the description so you can calculate the windings. Uh, the number of windings I will post the link in the description too. So yeah, let's stop talking. Start a little demo one. So at the moment key switch is on. Uh, I switch to forward. So if I put in a throttle input, you can see the motor starts spinning. It's very quiet and smooth running. So if I release the throttle, it comes back. Now, now we can try the reverse. Speed it up. Perfect. It's 
So, I hope you like our short demonstration. I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. See you soon.